Hello and welcome back for Down on Day Two, please. Resident Evil 3, Nemesis 1999. How you're doing? Uh, it's been a tough week for me to try and play and record because I'm in the process of packing, moving. Um, got my son. I'm dealing with as well. So life just sort of keeps getting in the way of stuff. But anyway, I'm here. Let's do this. Um, okay, chilly rooms. So, heading back towards that room now, where we saw the door that opened up. How's everyone's world going? Is it cool? Is it awesome? Do these things. Did I just kill them all? Uh, all right, hang on. Uh, combine that with that. There we go. Awesome. What are those things now? They're dead. Uh, man, it's been a very long week for me. More work hours, packing, and ugh. Finally got a place though. I don't know what's going on in here. What the hell's this thing doing? You don't like the stairs? Ah! Gotcha. Nope! Oh, you're dead. He went flying. Alright, we're in partial proportion. I'm fine with that. Ah, uh, there was nothing over there. Go upstairs now. Oh man, I'm just thinking about what game I want to play next. I know I do want to do Silent Hill Origins soon. Yes, but I saw a new PS4 game that got released fairly recently, The Maid of Scare, I think it's pronounced. But it looks like there's no actual physical copy for the game. Um, you literally have to uh, just download it, so I'm trying to find out whether there is any physical copies of this game before I do um, die, uh, buy the downloader version because... I do like my physical copies of games, I collect them, well I don't collect them, but I I buy them and I keep them, you know, you know for display purposes and all that. Get the herb, Jill. Get, why can't I get the sodding herb? Alright, come on. Come on. This is going to be my new challenge for the day. Uh, back. There we go. Damn. Alright. Alright, might do a quick uh inventory dump. Is that just to keep me going for now? Let's see how this goes. It's probably gonna be like instantaneous death. What the hell? What's this? What is this? Oh now I get the map. Alright, so that's that locked door over there. Alright. Yeah, I got the factory map, very cool. Oh man. So, yeah. I know the game is based on uh, a book or a novel from like the late 1800s, which is interesting. I actually looked it up and I found there's a audiobook version on YouTube by Libra, Li LibriVox? LibriVox? Something called that. Uh, something like that. So, I might listen to the book before I start the game. Not entirely sure, because it's interesting that there's a game uh, based on a book. So you know that's cool. Right. Oh, we got powders. We got a couple. Okay. Oh, um, I guess I actually, since I've got past that section, I might want to save. So. 
save, 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 save. Um, just take the front bugger. Quickly save and move on from there. Oh, there was ink rumors there too. Oh, damn. I didn't see that. Yep, typewriter. Yes, save progress. Yes. I'd have to be very close to the end of the game. I'd have to be. Resting room. Okay. So, that's done. Alright, so... Don't need this no more. Uh, I don't think I need this either. Facility key. Um... Ooh, I'll take it with me just in case. Um... Yeah, okay. Here we go. Um, back to that room where I was. So, yeah, uh... That game, uh, The Maid of Scare, looks very, very, uh, Silent Hill-like, which is awesome, I like that. Uh, very, I guess, psychological and mind-tripping, so that's cool too. So that will be cool to see. I, I've seen the... Oh, I thought so, I heard something coming at me. Uh, I've seen the trailer for the gameplay and it looks pretty good. The one I'm looking forward to, if it comes to PS4, is... Uh, the medium which looks interesting too because uh, again uh, well it's got Akira Yakamoa who's still in the music and it looks very Silent Hill like too what's this there's nothing there okay well you're still wandering around Nikolai so, you want to get out of here alone? Is that your plan? I made certain none of the other supervisors survived. Since I'll be the only one who knows what really happened, I'll have more bargaining power when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. They want you eliminated for reasons of their own. The amount is modest, but there is a reward to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. That's great, except I have no intention of contributing to your retirement fund. That doesn't sound good. Okay. So what happened here now? What's this? Someone shut that guy up. Okay, there's nothing to say about that puddle of blood. Uh, what's this? What's this blinky light thingy? Uh, please insert system disk to unlock. Uh, large size refrigerator. There are claw marks that indicate something. Tried to crack it open from inside. Okay, that's interesting. Um, wait a minute. Okay, um, ow. Seconds of cutscene already, like through the cutscene. Nice. 
30 seconds. 30 seconds now. Whoa. It's over here. Buggery hell. Bloody twat. Come on, Jill, get up, get up, get up, get up. Run! Ah. Oh, be caution. Um. Ah! Damn it! Oh, bloody... Get him! Ah, uh, yes! Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. Oh. Less than two minutes, hurry up. Um, there's a key card reader, okay, brilliant. Well, it's good they get to show you what happens here in the cutscene, how to defeat him. Me waving goodbye to Nemesis. He dead. Oh, what? Alright, and I'm fine. 
grab a save too. So many increments, it's crazy. Well, I guess it helps when you get. I guess it helps when you play a couple hours at a time. I don't know, fairly careful in what you do. Not really that careful though, am I? Um, yeah, I'm right. So I don't have to worry about it. I'm leaving so far. Ooh, grenades. <coughs> Hell yeah. Take it. Take it. Is there anything else around here? Closed down with a sturdy looking locked door. There's a tiny slot where a plastic card could fit. Like this? That's it. Let's go. Battle on Z. Fuck <coughs> her, police are. I want to use that rocket launcher so bad, man. There you go, you're all dead. What's going on in here now? Did that hurt me? Nope, but I've got some herbs. Pick him up. Fine. Heal there. Ten minutes. Uh, and there's going to be a timer now. Jill, Jill, where are you? If you can hear this transmission, respond immediately. I'm here. What's up? I got us a ride. The chopper engines are running and ready to go. On my way. The city's about to become ground zero. Hurry up! And don't forget to take that device with you. What does it do? That device tracks the distance of the approaching missile. 
Make sure you bring it with you. Now listen to me. Great. Don't give up. We're both gonna survive this. Just get over here! Portable radar receiver. You've got the radar receiver, okay. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Alright, so what the hell do I do now? Level D. All personnel evacuate. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Can't go that way, obviously. So that yeah, that's where I was going. Alright. Yep, go down. Um oh. Come on. Let me Now. This is just basically run to the helicopter and that's it. Over here. What am I doing? What's this? No, don't know. Alright, don't know. Come on, what the hell, man? Alright, check the body. Nothing. Yeah, I get it. Caution. This is a countdown. And... Can I just. I don't know what the hell. Okay, there's nothing there. Alright. Uh, this is one of the Umbrella's deadly bioweapons. Okay. The hell? The hell is going on here? Straight here then? Oh, this. Checking system. Do you have to put it in, in numerical order? Checking data. Warning. There is not enough power to activate the system. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you gotta seriously do it in numerical order. Gotta be joking me. This thing's gonna come to life, isn't it? Ah! Oh. Why is it so more ir more urgent then? Why can't I? There we go. Battery connected. Okay. Oh, not this thing. Yeah, I'm not messing with this. Oh, no. Get off! Fuck! No, 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 no! I mean, caution. 
Come on. Push. I have to do this manually? Oh, thank god. Do it! No! Limping. Warning. System overheating. Enter cooldown mode. Is that it? Oh, you gotta be joking me. This is a two step. Okay, I can leave. No. Alright, here we go. Uh, exterminate the monster, ignore here and evacuate. Uh, leave. The nuclear bomb would take it out anyway. Come on. Yep. Use it. Yes. Get the hell out of here. Get the fudge out of here, man.
Let's see what this is. And now we have a rather unfortunate turn of events. It seems that the President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the backless terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. Let's see what kind of vendor we got. Rank and all that. Very squat looking mushroom cloud. Music stopped. Ah, oh, there we go. I was waiting for something dramatic to happen. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Well, that's been it. Um, let's see if we can't skip this. Alright, well, I'll stop the recording here and then stitch together the new recording um, for the end. Unless... No, I can't stop it. Alright. Yeah, alright, I'll stitch together the ending when I get to it. Alright, see you guys in a sec. Alright, this is the end of the credits here. So let's see what kind of ranking we got. Uh, time 7 hours, 53 minutes, 37 seconds, number of saves, 19, grade F. And there's Carlos and Jill on a cruise ship. You can play the extra game. Epilogue, here we go. After escaping the city, Jill sent out to join Chris Redfield. However, all she found was an empty hideout of Chris's. On the floor was Chris's knife. Jill left without hesitation because she firmly believes that Chris is still alive. She will search for him until she finds him. Then they can go and put an end to Umbrella. Wow. Okay. Yeah, let's make that a save. next game. Alright, this has been down on the AJ Plays Resident Evil 3 Nemesis 1999. Um, I actually really, really enjoyed this game. I was super addicted to it. Uh, the gameplay was amazing. It wasn't unfair. It wasn't overly fair at, the, at times. It was just perfect. It was an equal amount of both. So, um, yeah, that that's really cool. I really enjoyed this one. Um, highly recommend if you haven't played it try and get your hands on a copy if you can or if it's on the digital store for PlayStation try there too but worth the experience totally worth it um, I'm very happy with this game it's actually much much better than the remake the remake felt uh, very lacking and um, just it didn't have the heart and soul that this game seemed to have and um, um, that's how good this game was. It was just um, lost for words how good and solid this game was. I would put it right next to um, Resident Evil 2, uh, Silent Hill 1 and 2 as a very good game. So worth the experience, worth the money, worth the play. Take your time, enjoy the games, and I'll catch you guys next time in the next video with Silent Hill Origins. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can get my hands on a physical copy of uh, The Maid of Scare. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's a Welsh game. So, um, I'll see what happens. I'll let you know when I, when I do, uh, whether I get a copy of that or not. So, yeah. This has been now the AJ Plays, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, 1999. Like, comment, share, subscribe.
thumbs up, thumbs down, all that good stuff. If I suck, by all means, write a comment, say I suck, and you know, where you come from in the world. Me, New South Wales, Australia. Obviously because of my silly accent. But yes, uh, I will catch you guys in the future. Hopefully I'll be moved into my new house by that point. So I will see you guys later. Have a good one.